absolutely any yarn that you want. Some I've just got some paint box Simply DK here. I'm going to be using three colours obviously but you can use as many or as few as you wish. So I will leave the numbers for these particular shades in the description box as well. I just wanted to use some really nice bright and cheerful colours for this particular stitch. So as always you want to start obviously with your slip knot and if you're not sure how to do that just nip and check out my beginner series. So for this particular pattern you want to do your foundation chain in a multiple of six so any length that you like as long as it is a multiple of six. So to chain you just yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. So you're just going to do that in a multiple of six until your work is as wide as you like. So I've done a foundation chain of 24. So whatever length chain you have done, you need to add on an additional five chains at this point. So one, two, three, four and five. And we're ready now to work our way back along. So we're going to start off in the fourth chain from the hook. So you never count the one on the hook. So we go one, two, three, and this is my fourth chain. And we want to treble into this chain. Now the whole of this pattern is trebles and chains. So remember I am working in UK terms. So in the US it is your double crochet. So to treble, you just yarn over we're going to insert into that fourth chain from the hook, yarn over and pull up, you'll have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that now is going to count as the treble that we've just done and the chains that we skipped will also count as another treble. So that there now is two trebles. You want to do another treble into the next chain along, so yarn over and insert. Sorry, that's just my dog, not very happy. <laughs> and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So we've now got three trebles next to each other. You then want to chain three, one, two and three. And we are going to skip over three chains. So we're going to skip one, two, three, and then into this fourth chain, you're going to treble again. So yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one treble. You're then going to treble into the next one as well. Pull through two and pull through two. And then one final treble into the next. So you'll have, you'll always have three trebles next to each other. So again, chain three, skip three, so one, two, three, and then work three trebles into the next three stitches. That's one, two, and three and then again you'll chain three and skip three and you will just repeat that all the way along until you get back towards your slip knot. So you will chain three, skip three and do three trebles and I will meet you as you get back towards your slip knot. So I've just done three trebles and I've chained three and I'm going to skip three and then I should have three chains left to work into. So I shall just do my final three trebles into these stitches. One. Two. My final treble. But because I'm going to change colour, I'm not going to complete this final treble. I'm just going to stop there with two stitches on my hook. And then I will get my new colour and I'll pull it through those final two stitches. And then I'm going to chain one, but this never counts as a stitch. It is simply to secure my 
colour change. And then I, I like to tie my ends together, but that is just a pref personal preference. So I have changed colour, and now I want to chain three, one, two, and three, and I'm going to turn. Now that chain three is going to be used to skip over the tops of these trebles here, and then we're going to work three trebles back into that foundation row. So we're going to skip the tops of these trebles, and then you've got three chains here that we skipped over earlier on. So you've got one, two, and three. So this very first one is the trickiest row to do, just be, as you're building up your pattern. So you're going to yarn over, insert into that first chain that you skipped on your foundation row, and complete your treble. And then again, one into the next chain, and one into that third chain that we skipped. So that's how it should look. You're then going to chain three, and you're going to skip over the top of these trebles, and again work into the three chains that we skipped on our foundation row. Now don't worry if your work bunches up very slightly as you do this, that is completely normal and it will flatten out as you work up the pattern. And a third. And you probably guessed it, you're going to chain three and skip across and work into the chains from the foundation row. So if you want to continue doing that and then I will meet you just as you get towards the end of your row and we will move on to the next row. So I've just done my last set of three trebles into the foundation row and then I want to chain three because I want to skip over these trebles and then you want to do a double crochet or in the US this is your single into the very top of that chain that we skipped at the beginning so at the, you'll have the tops of two trebles quite obvious to you here and here and in that very next stitch next to it you so I've inserted my hook into that very last stitch and then I'm going to yarn over and pull up and yarn over pull through both of those stitches so that now is how you should be looking, but actually I forgot I'm changing colours here, so I just want to undo that. So you'll yarn over and pull up and you'll have two loops and again we're going to change colours, so stop there and get your next colour. However, if you are obviously doing this all in one colour, then you will just finish your stitch and then chain at the beginning of the next row and pull that through, chain one but remember that never counts as a stitch, it is just to secure the colour change. So I'm ready to move on to the next row now and again I'm going to chain three and I'm going to turn. Now that treble, uh, that chain three sorry, will count as the treble for the top of this treble here. So now there's only two trebles that we need to work into. So we've got this treble here and this treble here. So you want to yarn over and you're going to go through the top of that treble but make sure that you get the whole of the top of the stitch. It will look like a small V on your hook. Yarn over and pull up and complete your treble. So that now is two trebles. Yarn over and again go into the top of that third and final treble and complete your treble, chain three because we want to skip over this set of trebles and then you've got three trebles here to work into so you'll go into the top of this one and this one and this one. So. Yarn over and insert and 
complete your treble and again into the top of the next treble and the next. And then you would chain three and again you'll just continue this all the way along until you get towards the other end which is where I will meet you in a second. So I've chained three and then I've got my final stitches to work into just here. So as normal I would go into the tops of those trebles. One. Two. And that final one can be a little bit tricky because it's where we've done a colour change. And again, I'm going to stop just here because I want to change colours again. I'm going to pull that colour change through and chain one to secure that. And then I can snip off. So if you're changing colours every row like I am, you will have lots of ends to weave in, unfortunately. So I'll just start off this next row with you again, but then that will be it for the pattern itself because it is just a simple two row repeat now. So we are completing this orange row again, which is row one, because that very first row I'm not counting as a row because it was just our foundation row. So I'm classing the start of the pattern of row one as my orange. So row one and row two are your pattern repeats and then I will show you how to finish off so that you obviously don't have these gaps on your final row. But just as a reminder for starting off for row one, you will chain three and you will skip over this set of trebles and work a treble into the top of each of those trebles from the previous rows. So one, and remember, make sure you go through the whole of the top of the stitch two and three. Chain three and again skip across and work your three trebles into the top of those trebles. So one, two and three and you will continue that all the way along and then I will meet you just to firm up the placement for that very final stitch. So I've done my final set of trebles, I've chained three and then you're going to skip the top of the two trebles that you can see and you will work into the top of the chain three. So you're one, two and that is my third and top chain. And then I will yarn over and pull up to do a double crochet but obviously I won't complete it because I will be again changing colours. So that is all you will do is repeat rows one and two over and over again until it is as big as you want it to be and that is where I will meet you in a second and we will finish off the project. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to finish off and personally again this is only a personal preference but I like to finish off using the same colour that I started with. So I'm going to pull my colour through in the same way as always. So to finish off, I'm going to oops, chain one and turn. And because we don't want these great big chain three gaps where we've been jumping over our stitches, we're going to work into the top of these stitches instead so that we don't get that big chain three jump. So into this very first stitch here, you can see we've chained one and turned, but there are we still want to work into each treble along so you want to insert your hook into that very first stitch and we're going to double crochet so you're going to yarn over and pull up and yarn over pull through both and you'll do that again into the next one you will do a UK double in the US this is your single and again into the top of that final treble there and then we're going to jump down in the same way that we have been doing with a treble, so yarn over and you'll still do these in the exact same way. Oops, I've not gone through the whole of that stitch. 
because it is important to always go through the whole of the stitch otherwise it pulls your work up too much. So you will do your three trebles as normal and then instead of chaining three and jumping across you will do a double crochet into the top of each of these trebles so a UK double making sure you always get the V at the top of your stitch and the final one and then again you will jump down and do your trebles as before so you will just do that all the way across and I will see you when you get back towards the end of your row once more so I'm just on my last set of three trebles and you're just going to do the exact same thing to finish off so one two and the top of that chain three little chain one snip off and then pull that out and tighten off and so that just gives you a nice finish to the top of your work it is ever so slightly bumpy but if you're going around with a border anyway then you won't notice that at all so I really hope that you've enjoyed this one and I think it looks so beautiful this stitch it's one of my favorites and I just love it in really bright colors as well like this one but please remember to subscribe and also make sure when you do subscribe that you click on that little bell icon and click to get notifications because otherwise you, you won't always get a notification when I put up a new video. So make sure you do click on that little bell button and come and find me on Instagram as well. But that is it for this lovely stitch. Bye for now.